Today on Make and Drink, we're going to be making cocktails using amaretto, but not just any amaretto, we're going to be using Di Serono, which is definitely the most popular amaretto and probably one of the most popular liqueurs worldwide. Now, Di Serono says that this recipe dates back to the 1500s. I don't know if that's true or not, but there are some misconceptions about Di Serono and amaretto. And the first is that it's made of almonds. And I didn't know this until recently, but Di Serono is not and has never been made from almonds. It's actually made from the kernel oil of apricots. So those are the apricot seeds. Now we equate Di Serono and amaretto to almond liqueur because it tastes just like almond extract. But if you think about it, almond extract is actually not made from whole almonds itself, but it's made from almond oil. And that almond oil and apricot oil hold a lot of the same properties that give it the same flavor compounds. Now stick around with us today as we explore some cocktails with Di Serrano, but you can use any amaretto you'd like to make any of these cocktails. And the first one we're gonna make is a drink called the Godfather. This one we can build in our glass, do some cracked ice. Then we're gonna do equal parts, one and a half ounces of amaretto. One and a half ounces of a scotch whiskey. Go ahead, give it a quick stir. There you go, the Godfather. Now I would have to say, I think I prefer this much more uh, than a rusty nail, which has uh, drambuie in it. Uh, the amaretto, um, it's delicious. It has a nice sweetness to the drink. I think if you want something a little less sweet, you could obviously dial back the amaretto. Maybe two ounces of scotch and three quarter an ounce amaretto, but it's a good drink. Marlon Brando's favorite. Okay, moving along here, we're gonna do an amaretto sour, just to take on a sour recipe or a, a whiskey sour recipe. And we're gonna be using some amaretto to add some sweetness to our drink. So you're gonna start by building this in your shaker. I'm gonna do a quarter ounce of simple syrup. One ounce of lemon juice. One egg white. One ounce of amaretto. Two ounces of bourbon. All right, first we're gonna dry shake it. So shake it for 10 to 20 seconds. Now shake it again for 10 to 20 seconds more. You wanted to garnish this, we could garnish it like a whiskey sour. Some bitters. There you go, amaretto sour. That's really good. Surprisingly, it's not like overly Di Serrano. It's not overly Amaretto. I think it provides just a little bit of a more interesting uh, flavor combination than your typical whiskey sour. I don't want to say this is better than a whiskey sour, but it's it's really good. I think if you love a whiskey sour, this is something that you should definitely try. It's surprisingly delicious. All right, next up, we're going to do a drink called The New Day. And this is a departure on many of the drinks I've done here so far. 
This drink was created by Bobby Patugo from Tips Restaurant in Valencia, California, and it won an award at the U.S. Bartender Guild in 1983. All right, we're gonna build this one in our shaker. We're gonna start with half an ounce of a lime cordial. Two ounces of orange juice. Three quarter an ounce of Midori. Three quarter an ounce of Amaretto. And one and a half ounces of vodka. Give it a shake for 10 seconds. I'm gonna serve this on some nugget ice. If you had an umbrella, this would be a great time to use it. That's surprisingly tasty. It's not bad. It definitely feels like a drink from the 80s. Uh, the Midori adds like a very unique sweetness. If you're not familiar with Midori, it's a Japanese melon liqueur. It's generally overwhelming. Just enough here, maybe even a half an ounce would be better here. But that with the amaretto, it's it's pretty tasty. I, I thought that I was going to bash this drink, but I think this is actually pretty good. Didn't see that coming. If you've enjoyed the video this far, please consider liking the video below and maybe even subscribing to the channel. Now moving on, we're gonna do a drink called the Apricot French Connection. Now there is a Di Sirono drink that uses Di Sirono and Cognac that's called the French Connection, but I wanted to include some apricot liqueur here to try to get it back to that root of this being from apricot kernel oil. So we're gonna build this inside of a mixing glass. Start with two dashes of chocolate bitters. Next, we're gonna do half an ounce of an apricot liqueur. Followed by half an ounce of Di Sirono. And finally, two ounces of cognac. Give it a stir for 20 to 30 seconds. You can serve this up, but I'm gonna serve it over one large ice cube. There you go, the apricot French connection. That is really interesting. You definitely get the chocolate bitters, and then the sweetness is coming from the apricot and the Di Sirono. Uh, with the cognac and with that uh, chocolate bitters, it kind of reminds me of a Brandy Alexander I did recently, minus the sort of creaminess, but it makes um, a delicious fall and winter cocktail. All right, next up, we're gonna make a drink called an Amaretto Revolver. You're gonna build this inside of a mixing glass. I'm gonna go with two dashes of orange bitters, half an ounce of a coffee liqueur. I'm using Mr. Black here. Half an ounce of Di Serrano.
and two ounces of bourbon using a 100 proof old granddad. Go ahead and stir this for 20 to 30 seconds. Then we're gonna strain this into a coupe. And we're going to flame an orange peel. And there you go, the Amaretto Revolver. This has been the most uh, bitter, the most sort of classic, sort of uh, spirit forward cocktail we've had so far today. The half an ounce of coffee liqueur and the half an ounce of Di Serena go really well together. Mr. Black Coffee liqueur is not very sweet, so if you're using Kahlua, expect this to be sweeter. The Di Sereno is adding the sweetness, and I just like the way it marries together with the bourbon. You're definitely getting the bourbon first, and you're getting some of that burn from the 100 proof bourbon. This is a great uh, fall winter cocktail. Something if you're like, if you love Manhattans, give this a shot. All right, that's it for this one. That's five cocktails using Di Sereno amaretto liqueur and i have to admit i am pleasantly surprised i did not think that most of these would turn out but they all did and they're all really good even the one that had midori in it i think each one of these drinks is worth trying and if i missed a di serono or an amaretto cocktail that you enjoyed let me know in the comments below otherwise like the video subscribe to the channel if you'd like to and we will see you on the next one